Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning and here's what I'm taking with me to work today. First of all, my coffee and tea. <clears throat> coffee this morning is one smart point um, because I have my regular coffee and this morning I have three tablespoons of fat-free half and half for one smart point. I just felt like I wanted something a little creamier this morning so that looks delicious, one smart point. In here is my teamy tea, one teaspoon of tea for zero smart points, and lemon juice, zero. For lunch, I'm having this soup. This is a black bean and corn soup. It is seven points. I have two thirds a cup black beans for four smart points, a third a cup of corn for two smart points, <clears throat> and about two ounces of canned diced chicken for one smart point. So, oh, there's also some fire roasted diced tomatoes in there as well. Um, some seasonings, some s uh, pepper, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. So that's about two cups worth of soup for seven smart points, that is my lunch. And then snack is going to be a muscle milk for one smart point and one very small Granny Smith apple. So with the muscle milk, I put it in the freezer for about two hours, and it makes it all slushy and delicious. So one smart point for that. So everything I'm having so far before dinner is going to be nine smart points. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Here is my outfit of the day. It's a delicious 68 degrees out. It feels so wonderful. I love it. I have to share with you guys right now. I have to share with you guys right now the most amazing video I've listened to in a long time. It's by Kinobody. Um, that's the YouTube channel named Kinobody Greg O'Gallagher. And the name of the video is You Will Never Succeed If You Do This. You guys, this video is so good. I literally listened to it five times in a row. <laughs> and now I just listened to it one more time. So it's so good. Um, and it's so true. He's talking about um, basically what it's going to take to succeed and talking about going one step forward, two steps back and how you got to stop doing that. Guys, that's what I do every single weekend. I was literally thinking this morning that yes, even though I had a better weekend, my weekends are very marginally getting better as far as food and drink goes, but I have to spend the next few days recovering or helping my body get back to where it was before the weekend. So I'm literally all week doing the right things and then one step forward and then the weekend comes and I am two steps back again. So I have to stop doing that. I really want to be on my game and I need to figure out how to do that consistently and stop going one step forward, two steps back. He said, Greg said, you must push through. Stop making excuses and just follow through. <sighs> That's me, stop making excuses and just follow through. Success is doing it even when you don't want to do it. Success is staying within your points, Julie, even when you don't want to do it. Success is pushing through, following through, no matter what. So the bottom line is he asks, or what I should ask myself, do you want it or not? What am I talking about? Greg is talking about physical fitness. I'm talking about fitness, health, weight loss, all of it. It's a big package for me. Do you want it or not? I do. If you guys have watched my most recent why video, I, probably a couple weeks ago now, my why is to be as fit as possible as I age because there are so many things that I want to do physically and of course mentally because that ties into it as well. But that's happening right now, you guys. I'm older now than I was yesterday, two weeks ago. I should be healthier than I was then because if that is my goal, to continue to fine tune my health and get as healthy as possible 
for the next 20 years, it needs to start now. So that's my ultimate goal and that's what I want. Do you want it? Do you want this or not? Yes, Julie, I do. So obviously I have, um, I know what I need to do. It's um, the whole big picture is, number one, I need to follow through with my exercise. Um, so my yoga and my running, which I do. I think I've been very good at getting my runs in, getting to my yoga classes. I literally schedule it in my planner every week. I know which classes I'm going to, which days I'm going to run, and how far I'm gonna run. So I'm not sure really um, that that's the area I really need to focus on and hit. Although I could potentially, you know, start to fine tune my workouts a little, my running, um, which I will need to do anyway as the races get closer. So um, I could work a little bit on speed and distance, but again, I don't think that's my area right now. The area I really, really need to focus on is staying within my 30 points. So I have the number, I have the means to do it. I even plan how to do it and then I don't do it. <laughs> so that's what I need to push through and just do it, just follow through whether I feel like it or not. I need to stay within my 30 points. So hmm, I need to figure out how to do that guys. I can plan like there's no tomorrow and I know that that is like the number one first step. If I don't plan then I'm definitely not going to succeed. But now I need to work on sticking to my plan and stop doing this two steps backwards on the weekend. Anyway, I had to share that video with you guys. I would really encourage you to watch it because it's really so motivating and just hits so many nails on the head. There is a little bit of strong language at the end, so I apologize on Greg's behalf for that, but it really just hits home, so I think you guys should watch it. Anyway, so my day today, oh, it just feels so good out here. Um, what am I doing today? Today is not a running day, um, so we have yoga tonight at 8 o'clock, and I am actually going to the chiropractor today. That's what I'm doing. So I'm actually looking forward to that, but I'm nervous. I don't want anything to pop, but um, I'm gonna tell her that from the get-go, and then I'm just gonna let her know everything that's hurting. And obviously I do feel a little better today because it's been a couple days of rest after any kind of workout, um, but yeah, maybe that's one way I can fine tune my body and my health is by just addressing um, some of these pains I've been having and just making it as minimal as possible or helping my body to work as, um, as well as it should be, as well as it can be. So I am gonna probably walk with my friend at lunch today and that's it. It's, uh, man, I feel like we do so much on the weekends and then it's just back to business on Monday and boring, boring. Julie's back to work and working out, work and working out. Um, anyway, so I will touch base with you guys in another little while. Okay, I am walking as fast as I can because I'm on a schedule. I'm actually trying a new productivity technique today. So what I'm doing right now is I'm setting a set time for me to do specific tasks because what I'm finding is that I have these tasks piling up and if I would hit each task for a certain amount of time each day, then the piles wouldn't be so big. I get stuck on one task and it ends up taking most of the day and then the other things get totally ignored. So. What I did today is I set a specific time for me to do one task. I'm going in one hour increments. So one task at a time for one hour and I need to be back at 4.30 to do my next task. The next two tasks are actually going to be half an hour each because I need to leave at 5.30 so I can make it to this chiropractor appointment. So, but it seems to be working pretty well today. I am hitting things that I haven't um, done for a while, so I'm trying to at least, at least touch everything a bit so things aren't piling up so much, so. I feel like, I think I have pepper in my teeth. 
because <laughs> that black bean soup is so spicy. It was an accident, but <laughs> Eddie's mom had this huge, huge container of pepper. And last night when I made the soup, I tried to put some pepper in. <laughs> I put a lot of pepper in. <laughs> It tasted good at the time, so I stirred it in. And now that it's all cooked, it's just, it's it's good. It's just really spicy. It's making my nose run. Anyway, just wanna do a quick shout out to all the people who hit the Fitbit challenge for week four last week, which ran from Sunday to Saturday. So this is everybody who hit their goal um, six days out of seven for the last week in October. And Sorry, all of these people will get another entry into the prize drawing at the end of the month. So ready? Here's everybody who hit their goal six days out of seven last week. Carrie, Tina, Nikki, Gabriella, Charity, Cheryl, Crystal, Mary L, Hulisa, Kathleen, Laura H, Laura Bell, Aaron, The Yin Yan Life, Marilyn, Lisa B, Karen, Heather, Deborah, Sandra, Melanie, Daisy, Esther, Asthma, and Nicole. Good job, you guys. You guys are doing so amazing with this challenge. So much better than I am. It's actually funny that I'm already focusing on the next challenge when I did so poorly on this one, but you guys are inspiring me to keep trying and you guys are doing amazing. So the last week in October actually ended um, Saturday. So what I'm going to do for everyone who hits their goal for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday is all of you guys will get another entry into the drawing at the end of the month. So it's not a full week, but don't give up because you have three more chances to get your name in the drawing. Actually two chances because yesterday is already done. So I need to compile a list of everything everyone who hit their goal yesterday. And again, if you do not hear your name on the list, um, don't worry, just let me know. Let me know that you hit your goal six days out of seven for last week, or that you hit your goal for yesterday, which was Sunday. I will read out that list later today. So, but if you do not hear your name, don't worry, just let me know um, because, you know, Fitbit is, it is so weird like this weekend um, we were not able to rematch several of the challenges so that was really weird I had to manually re-enter everyone so mm, it's weird so anyway just let me know if you didn't hear your name and I will get you added so I'm gonna go see who hit their goal for Sunday you guys will also get a drawing and I'll check in with you guys in just a bit Okay guys, time for some muscle milk, one smart point, and some shout outs. So these are the people who hit their goal yesterday, Sunday, October 29th, and these people will get an extra entry into the drawing at the end of the month, if that makes sense. So here's the people who hit their goal for Sunday. Carrie, Tina, Charity, Cheryl, Shelly, Kathleen, Laura H, Laura Bell, Aaron, The Yin Yan Life, Rhiannon, Marilyn, Lisa B, Karen, Heather, Deborah, Sandra, Lisi, Melanie, Asma, and Nicole. Good job, you guys. Good job. Hey, so, I'm missing a couple of names. Who? Well, I, I recognize that you missed at least five <laughs> people that didn't That have been goal. on here. This, Eddie's right, this is actually quite a shorter list a lot of people seem to have drop off dropped off for the weekend so either you guys had a really busy weekend which could be um, but a lot of people are missing so if you guys want to jump in for the next couple days there's only two days left of this challenge if you want to jump in on the last two days just let me know I'll add you to a challenge or if by some mistake you were not able to be in a challenge and you did hit your goal, let me know that as well and I will mark you down and we'll get you an entry. Um, so yeah, headed to the chiropractor right now. Okay guys, that was not so bad. I'm not afraid anymore. I did not get popped. <laughs> Thank God. Ooh, 
Who's honking? Okay, anyway, so I have, um, I'm actually, this is kind of funny, but I'm actually relieved that there is something because especially when she was checking me, she's like checking, 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 didn't say a word. She's like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, oh great, it's all in my head. I'm just being a big baby. There's nothing wrong with me. So I'm actually relieved that there is something and something that number one is not too severe and number two is correctable. So I have a couple bones out of alignment in my neck, my mid back, my lower back, my pelvis is twisted and I have two muscles that are very inflamed in my glutes that cause a faux sciatica. So the good news is it's not true sciatica because that's a pinching of the nerve. So it's just these muscles that are like severely inflamed. So the bad news is I can't go to yoga tonight and I have to ice tonight and ice four times tomorrow. But um, she used this uh, tool. And no, it was some weird tool that like pounds like the, like click, click, click and it pounds on the bone to try to like move it in place. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. So um, yeah. And then I got the okay to get like massages. Yeah, it was kind of like, she said it looks like a construction tool. <laughs> and it kind of like, yeah, it did that. So I feel fine. My back is just a little sore right now from all the pushing and prodding and stuff. Um, so yoga probably is a good idea to skip tonight. And I'll do some ice and be a-okay soon. Um, I have another appointment on Wednesday. So thank you to everyone who suggested that I go to the chiropractor. And I'm glad I finally got my butt to the chiropractor and now I am looking forward to a massage but well, you know, I can't do a massage though. for like two more weeks so here's what? an interesting thing so when we went for the massage in Vegas mm -hmm. and they massaged your back and everything they didn't they couldn't tell any of that by just the massage I don't know if they can. They're not trained to say, oh, you're. I know, bones but isn't are that kind of, of interesting that, like, if your bones, if you have so many things that were out of whack. I don't think that's a lot of things compared to a lot of people, probably. But yet, like, if you went somewhere and they, they're used to feeling someone's bones being in sync. They. Massage people probably get but it. But massage all. people should already. But pick, they can't give a diagnosis. Should, no, They're but not. they but they should be able to pinpoint, pinpoint and say maybe you need to go to. Uh, they can't say that. That's a medical recommendation, and they can't do that. They're not trained to do that. So what they just basically. I'm amazed that she could tell all this. I didn't get my back cracked when I got a massage. Did you? They said they were gonna probably pop your shoulder. I didn't get that. Remember they were trying pop 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 all uh, over and over again and pushing pushing pushing. I didn't get. I think it'd be popped. interesting to ask Dennis that if he. Yeah, you should he ask Dennis. Class, Eddie has a friend who is a massage therapist. therapist. So a it'd be interesting to see if if you have to go in and say, "Oh, my shoulder hurts," and then they work on the shoulder, or probably if Dennis could feel the person's back and know that something needs to be adjusted or maybe when somebody goes in for a massage they're looking for an all-over massage so that's what I am looking for but anyway I think it's interesting that she was able to tell all this from feeling and like pushing and like some movement tests you know like it's not weird she's not looking at a, a scan or an MRI know, or that, an x-ray that's, that's why bizarre. that's why I'm thinking somebody that Massages should already, if they're feeling out They probably back, know, but they can't tell you. They can't diagnose you. It's not in their scope. But they can work on that area. Of, or they can suggest, yeah. hey, you know what? I noticed that. They can't suggest. Well, no, because when, when, when we've done, we've done uh, a massage in Vegas, the lady worked on my shoulder and she kept on saying, oh, you have something hard here in your shoulder and then she started working on it. Dennis, when he did my did uh, the massage, he kept on saying, I can feel the knot. So maybe the massage works on muscle and the chiropractor works only on the bone. So maybe That's massage people could 
could actually say, oh, you I have you have a Charlie horse right here, or you have a, a knot in your in your back. Or you have inflamed gluteus inflamed, maximus. Maybe. And then they're saying, so if it's my not, butt is inflamed. It's not that you ate too many cupcakes, it's just you have an inflammation. If I have an inflamed butt, why doesn't my butt look like Kim Kardashian's? Because I'm telling you, my butt is flat as a pancake. Maybe. It should look pretty good right now, huh? Maybe. It maybe, doesn't. <laughs> maybe Jennifer Lopez really doesn't have. <gasps> she has inflamed she, gluteus maximus. Yeah, That's her problem. The female muscles are inflamed. <laughs> okay, it's about 9.25 and here's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Sorry, no fancy plate or dish tonight. <laughs> this is actually a microwave dish which is supposed to be baked. So this was the most convenient dish I had. So I'm not going to bother even dirtying a plate. So this is a cauliflower, Italian cauliflower cheesy bake. This is supposed to go in the oven, but obviously we don't have a working oven right now. So I just did it all in the microwave. It's very, very easy. So on the bottom is cauliflower. So steamed cauliflower. On top of that is about the cauliflower, obviously zero smart points. On top of that is about a cup and a half of Eddie's marinara sauce. I'm counting one smart point for his marinara sauce because it's all vegetables except there is a small bit of ground beef in it. So one point for the marinara sauce and then on top of that is cheese. So I wanted to use mozzarella or provolone but I didn't, oh I just realized I did have shredded mozzarella. Oh well this is actually the light Jarlsberg. So I have two slices of the light Jarlsberg on top of that. And that is dinner, guys. So um, I hope it tastes good. It's just super easy um, throwing it together. So um, that is two, three smart points. And then here I have my grapefruit bellini for 18 smart points. So that is 21 smart points. Plus I had, gosh, how many? Did I? I had seven and not two, so nine. So nine plus 21 is exactly 30 smart points. Awesome. That is how I'm ending my day.